Hi everybody, it's me Vicky from Liverpool. Um, I'm, oh, what are you doing, Susie? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I went to town today, and I bought some things. And here they are. I've been to the Liverpool shop, Primark, and one of my favourite shops of all time, Lush. So we'll start with the Liverpool one. Let's take these ones. Okay. Now, Liverpool Football Club is my favourite football team. No one in my in my eyes or in my opinion will ever ever take their place. <sighs> I love this team. Now, in my family, my brother is actually expecting a baby. So him and his girlfriend are expecting a little girl, but even though she's a little girl. Every girl in my family likes football and she will get this little thing out. The bag there. Look at that. It's last season's um, football shirt. It's a little kit, as you can see. One of my favourite heroes there. This is the 2013-14 kit. Uh, on the back, it's got the 96 and two flames. For um, the 96 innocent men, innocent, innocent? innocent men, women and children. It's got uh, oh, the Liverpool logo. This is what we used to have on the kit until we had the shield, the Shanker Gates, the Eternal Flame. Other stuff like that. Our kit maker and our sponsor, Sunday Chartered. And my cat seems to want to join the party. Now, with this kit, you've got a lovely pair of shorts, a lovely shirt. Oops, I don't want to see them open it up. I've actually got a pair of little socks as well. So hopefully my niece, because we know it's a girl, is a kitty cat sweep, sleepy, I know, how cutie. Next place I went to was Primark, and um, Primark's a UK thing, an island thing, and it's one of the best places for cheap things. Now I've got myself two t-shirts. This one, they're both by atmosphere, I think, but we'll check that in a minute. I've got three t-shirts, one that I'm wearing right now, which I'll show you possibly in another video. This is what it looks like. Sweep, not yours. It's got Tokyo Metropolis. Whether that is the correct um, Japanese, I don't know. It's got a lovely, lovely dragon on it. The word city at the bottom, and then I think it's got the Tokyo skyline. I like that one. Um, let's open this one up. I think this is my uh, this is by Coca Cola. Whether it's by the original Coca Cola, I wouldn't know. But I have got it. That's what it looks like. A lovely white T-shirt. I like it. I've got um the the socks I wore today. And I've got a fifty pack of hair bubbles, or as um Americans call them hair elastics. We just call them bubbles. I've got uh, loads of thin ones and then quite a few thick ones. Sweet, so don't mess with it. I should be. <laughs> something for that there. Can I sweep things? It's a funny thing. Not. Then I went to my favourite place in the world. Well, one of my favourite places. Lush. I can't go past this shop without either going in or buying something. Now, I had a bit of a... How can I put it? Ordeal. 
went to Lush. Then I was gonna go to the shops. I went. To, I was gonna go to Boots. Now where Lush is, it's was it? It's in Whitechapel. Near Whitechapel, in town. And I went to Boots in Clayton Square. Not not a small distance. Quite a fair distance to go. In, in town sense, <coughs> it's a short distance, but to get somewhere else. Walked in, got to the top floor of Boots in Clayton Square, and looked down. Saw the Liverpool bag. Saw the Primark bag, but I did not see my Lush bag, and I absolutely capped myself because the presents in there from from my mum. And these Lush is not a cheap product, so if you, you know, it's I absolutely capped myself. It's. <laughs> oh gosh. Why is it when I'm on you when I make a YouTube video or I make a video I'm always yawning? Yeah. But I literally I started to cry because it was from my mum and me and my mum have a very very close bond. And I literally searched every shop and I thought, right, go back to Lush but I was still crying. And they were, oh my god, are you alright? We've got you back here. You okay? You okay? We got me a cup of tea with sugar in. And I got a free massage. Um, arm massage. Massage. And a free product. And I didn't expect that. And don't, don't go in there crying and pretend you've lost something because that's disgusting if you do that. I was genuinely in a state of panic. And upset because I, I don't usually go to Lush and buy something, buy a number of products, but this was a lot of money and I was doing great. This is 20 odd quid. Um, I got some of the things which are have been given to my friends already, and so it's about 20 odd quid's worth of product, and that's 20 odd quid I'm not gonna get back. But luckily, some kind gentleman passed it in so. Thank you to whoever he is. You are a lifesaver. Big ups for you. Now, this bag, if you aren't familiar with Lush, Lush is handmade and handmade products fresh. And that's the website. And this is one major re one of the major reasons anyway why I love Lush and the against animal testing. So basically the two sides are the same, one with Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics and against all the testing and these are the things that are left in there. Now this is a, this is called Tweety Pie, it's a shower jelly and it is absolutely fab. Let's see if I can open it. This, oops, let's just show you the contents. That's fit. Sorry. Looks like a massive purple goop to me. <laughs> jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Jiggly! The squeak does not look impressed. And it is um, how to use. You can chill it, freeze it, or use it. Ooh, it's not focusing. Uh, straight from the pot, shape, stroke, or wobbly bit over your wobbly bits in the shower. Got plenty of them. Seaweed gel is great for hair and scalp. Good to know. Invented for Lush's 10th birthday because all the best parties have jelly. Which is true. So. And it's, um. <laughs> Sweet. Um, if a bar of soap and a bottle of shower gel had a steamy affair, this would be the resulting jelly. Baby. Bring back five. Four. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. <laughs> so this is made by David or David. So let's see. This is um, Sexy Peel. This was £4.56. 
Jesus on dirt. And this is quite gentle when it comes to this. So, if you haven't seen what I love for, so if you'll tell you uh, this one. Oh. It's got like a, like a lemony, citrusy smell to it. Let's see. The hard part of using our serve is deciding which of the many to use. Once you've made your choice, grab it, take a firm grip, rub it on a wet body. Right. So that is Lush. I love these products. This is, yet again, Sexy Peel. Don't know whether it's the same um, in every country, because obviously each country is going to be different. So, let's see. This is what the girl who massaged me, or <laughs> after I'm having a panic attack. Um, it's I'm trying. Let's get you on the for a Oops, sorry. Oh, that's Ellis in the background. There, oh, there it is. It looks like a giant strawberry. And you, what you do is with these is that you just let your hand warm it up. And you just let it massage and just rub it all over your body. So get a good light like that. And apparently these are made as well. Also to stop someone like me. So you can see hands all sort of gorgeous as well. Um looks greasy, it's not. Just rub it on your body. Sorry for the shaky camera. And off we go. The last one is the product they actually gave me. <coughs> I got um, the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother. The godmother and I've got four of the product friends. And this is called Twilight. And this has a lavender scent to it. You can see it's got stars on. And the late they gave me this, and I was like, but "Why? <laughs> I just had a panic attack. I don't need to give anything to me. A cup of tea and the massage is just really enough. <laughs> I don't need, I want to just settle for a cup of tea." But the staff at Lush in Liverpool are just amazing people. They are so kind, so loving. All different. Um. I can't, <laughs> I can't thank them enough for helping me, they are fantastic and if you ever go to Liverpool, go to Lush and they are most helpful people, people in Lush, I've been to Lush in uh, Manchester, I've been to Lush also in Bolton, oh, well, that's the same thing and they are s nice people willing to help you so if you've ever if you haven't been to Lush and you want to it's a not a daunting experience but there's so many smells and you don't know really what you want to go in for and if you tell them oh I like sweet smelling stuff or I like floral or citrusy or sour or musk type smells they will gladly help you and point out which up which um products will be better for you or what you because they know the products a lot better than everybody else. Thank you for watching this video guys. Hope to see you see you guys soon. And out of the day. Bye bye. Say bye bye sweep. Sweep. Give me a stop. Bye bye.